Home prices are crashing. Home prices are crashing. Wait, are home prices crashing? Hey, it's Adam Osborne here with Keller Williams of Central PA. And today I wanted to talk to you about what's really going on in our Central Pennsylvania real estate market. So don't go anywhere. So here's the deal. According to Fannie Mae, one in four of us Americans believe still that home prices are going to drop, maybe crash, and soon. So why is that? Well, there's a lot of reasons. And if you're believing those things, you might be feeling lost or confused or even afraid of what the housing market's gonna do. So I wanted to come to you today and shed some light on some things and bring you the reality through some data. Sound good? Hang in there. So the first part of this thing is that bad news sells. Sensational headlines, clickbait, all that stuff that makes you freak out, either positive or negative, or just makes you afraid. That stuff sells. And the news media and, and all of the people that are producing content, they know it. And so they'll bend or even break the truth sometimes in order to get one of those really grabby hook headlines. And so we have to think about that as we're looking at the truth. That's the first filter we have to clear away. The next thing I want to talk about is what the actual reality of the data is. Curious? So what does the actual data say in our central Pennsylvania market? Well, as of March 2024, in Cumberland County, the average sale price, the median sales price was $323,000, which is up from March 2023 from $287,000. Pretty significant. That's a 12.4% increase year over year. And from February 2024, it's up 7.7%. So what does that mean? I hate math, Adam. Make it make sense. Well, it means home prices are still going up in our area. But Adam, just because home prices have been going up and they are going up, doesn't mean they're gonna to continue to go up. Well, that's true. And while I don't have a crystal ball, I have been in this business a little bit and I've done a lot of research and talked to some experts and here's what I know. In a balanced market in our area, which means it's not a seller's market and not a buyer's market, there's around 800 homes on the market at any one time. Today, there's between 300 and 350 homes in the market, depending on the day. So what does that mean? We've got limited supply. And on the other side, there's a lot of buyers who have been wanting to get a home for the last number of years and have not been able to. There's a big buyer pool, even with the increased interest rates we've seen in the last year and a half. And to boot, our area is one of the fastest growing in the state. So what does that mean? Basic economics says that it's supply and demand. Well, there's limited supply and an ever increasing demand. That tells me one thing, that the prices of homes, barring some crazy catastrophic event, are probably gonna continue to rise because there's a lot of demand and not a lot of supply. And until supply can, can meet demand or exceed demand, prices are not likely to go down. So what does all this mean to you? Well, let's bottom line it. Home prices are, in fact, rising on average. I believe home prices will continue to rise based on our market conditions. So if you're a buyer that's sitting on the sidelines waiting for the prices of homes to go down, I would encourage you to actually look at the statistics and consider what your goals really are. If you're curious about the real estate market and want to have a more in-depth discussion, reach out. And if you'd like to talk more specifically about your situation, call and I'd like to schedule a complimentary buyer strategy session. And on the flip side, if you are thinking about what your home value might be, call or text and I'd be happy to provide you a complimentary home equity report. I hope this video is helpful. I hope you learned something and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.